Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% Achievement and Trophy Guide. And this time we're getting it all in Escape Fwanerst, or first for short. Uh, this was developed and published by Onskill Games, and is available for a lovely and small £4.19 slash $4.99 in the US. Now although it looks kind of horror-ish, it's really really not. It is, however, a really fun little escape room type game, wherein you have to solve puzzles to, in order to get the hell out of my pub. Or, or just room, or whatever. Uh, if you do enjoy escape rooms, though, you will enjoy this. Now, as for achievements, the majority are very easy. In fact, they're all very easy. It's more or less just for solving the puzzles and interacting with certain things along the way. There are two annoying-ass achievements, though, and all it is is for completing a room with one other person and three other people in your party. Now, we do live in the times of nobody really wants to go online and chat these days. We love being a damn recluse, so stop giving us these... Friggin achievements! Uh, yeah, well that's just me personally anyway. Uh, but you can drop me gamer tag in the comments section and get a few of you boosting the other two achievements. This is a place of helping you now. But anyway, with the solo stuff you can get this done in around 10 minutes, probably a little bit less. Then chuck an extra 2 or 3 minutes for the other two multiplayer achievements. And that's that! So with that being said then, let's begin. So what we're going to do, turn all the way around with the right stick and choose multiplayer. So we need to get an achievement for uh, basically completing one multiplayer match. Uh, now with this key code, all you've got to do is go on up to create. And then you've got to press the right trigger in order to choose stuff by the way. Make sure it's set to private there at the top. So you won't be pressing the A button for uh, basically at all, it's usually the right trigger. So go to the right here, room selection, Psycho Circus, and turn to the left on the TV and press start. So let this, let's, this, uh, let's get this going. Immediately, bottom left, keypad. First keypad we're going to put in is 3025, so that's 3025. Very great atmospheric music in this game as well, made me crap my pants throughout. Which I need to get some new pants now, that reminds me. Press left trigger to back out, and then with the right trigger, pick up the little horse, turn to the left slightly and put it on the carousel, again with the right trigger. So immediately look, look down, and the next code is going to be 5423. So that's 5423. Click the green arrow in the bottom, once with the right trigger, and then left trigger to back out. There we go, and that's going to open up this uh, drawer for us. We're going to pick up this horse and put it on the carousel once again. Right, turn to the left there, pick up the pin, pick up the nail or whatever, turn around, pop the balloon, and there is going to be a horse and a ball that have just popped out of nowhere. Balls flying at your face everywhere. So pick up the ball, you've got to drop whatever you're carrying with the left trigger, pick up the ball, put it in the left side clown. Have a look, and it's going to be on the red carpet somewhere, it can be kind of tricky to see, uh, but the horse should be there. So make sure to pick that one up, turn directly around, pop that one on the carousel as well. Next, turn to the left and interact with the... Uh, key code right here and it's going to be 2513 2513 then press the right trigger on the green arrow and the left trigger there to back out and you can just pick up this clown costume and immediately press the left trigger to discard that crap we don't want to look like a clown charlie brown there's going to be a horse in here though so pick that up and put it on the carousel all right turn all the way to the left on this vanity mirror thing right here choose for uh, the code is 4521 so that's 4521, and then green arrow, left trigger to back out. And what that's going to do is open up this cabinet here for another horse magoni, horsey McCorse face. So turn left, back to the vanity mirror, open up the cabinet on the left hand side, grab the ball, put it in the right hand side clown, stick your balls in the clown. Turn all the way to the left again, and you're going to open up the left cabinet, grab this another ball, and you're going to triple ball these guys to death. Camera opens up, uh, make sure to pick up one of these uh, creepy weird ass dolls, you know, the ones that watch you in the night, because they do. Uh, so just pick them up and discard them again with the left trigger, and it, sometimes it can be a bit finicky, but there is a horse in there to pop on the carousel as well. Turn directly all the way around to the left and interact with the rightmost keypad, and input 9568. So that's 9568, then hit it with the green button, kablamo. And we can back out. That's going to open up this left-hand cabinet for us. Pick up the horse. Turn directly around. Stick that where the sun don't carousel. Right, turn directly around again and go into the middle keypad this time. This time we're going to put in 3214. That's 3214. Green button action is. And get out of it. And then we can interact with the draw that the pad was just on. 
and grab the horse out of that. Again, it can be kind of finicky sometimes, so just be careful. Uh, pop that on the carousel behind you and turn directly around to go to the left keypad this time. And we're going to type in 3621. So that is 3621. Green button it up. And then that's going to open up this second drawer, which you can do. So obviously close the top drawer. There we go. And then we can pick up <laughs> again. you got to be kind of sort of dead on. But there we go. Pick it up. Turn around. Carousel it up. Ta-da! So turn directly around once again, interact with the clown cabinet, and all you got to do is just highlight um, four and five off this left cabinet. Again, obviously making sure to use the uh, right trigger. And then on the right cabinet, it's one and two. So it's four, five on the left, one and two on the right. That will open up the cabinet, and then we can pick up the next horse, turn it around, pop that on, and... Congratulations, thank you for playing, and then the music gets banging, and it feels like you're on a hell of a night out on a weird trip, but it's actually not, it's actually pretty cool. Very lovely retro style music, but that is the first couple of achievements done anyway, so we are flying. Um, you just gotta wait for a second, and eventually it will boot you back to the beginning. There it is, so Escape from One Erst. I don't know what they thought with that one, put in the one in the... Uh in the name there, but anyway, we are going to leave, we are going to exit, and now we're going to go into solo. We need to do a, uh, at least one game playing through solo. So make sure to choose the second level there, the do not touch the button. The gumdrop button! Right, first things first, turn to the left and interact with the red button. And a weird dead body with the key is going to appear. Grab the key, interact it with the cabinet, and then we can open that up again with the right trigger. Uh, with this key code safe, it is 7453. So that's 7453. Hit it with the green button. Ba -ba -ba -bom. Ba -ba -ba -bom. And then interact with the safe underneath it and pick up the crank. Turn it around to the right hand side of the door directly behind you. And then just press the right trigger, of course, to crank it. Louder! So turn directly around and go in between the two cabinets, press the red button, and that'll drop you down. D press the red button again if you look directly down, dead body's going to appear again. Input the code now 5762. So that's 5762, we will get the heads up achievement as well right there. So 5762, interact with the green code, and we can interact with the door to go through to the next area. So turn left, and have a look at this next key code, or key keypad, whatever, it's 3512 anyway. That's three, five, one, two, green button, kablamo. Nip, nip through the door again to go into the next room. So turn left and you can see a lit hallway. There it is. Just go straight up into the door and type in 7885. Green button it. Yeah, press the red button. And congratulations. Thank you for playing. Now, what would have made that order message even hilarious, sir? Eh? is if they, you know, spelt one of the words wrong or something. That always leaves a hilarious mark. Right, one more level to do now. So again, solo it up and go to the right-hand side. Lost in time. Or just in time. Does it j just eat in time? Lost in time? Yeah, whatever. It's the third level. So, turn directly to the left. You're going to see two clocks here. We're going to do the exact same time on here. So you've got a red button on the left and a blue button on the right. So for the blue clock, which is the big one, put it down to five. And the red one to three, so it'll say 325. Then press the white button in the middle. And then do the same with the other clock. So with the red button there, put it down to three. And with the blue button, put it down to five. So that's 325. Interact with the white button. That's going to open up this cabinet beneath us. So we can pick that one up and grab the crank. Turn around. And the big clock, just to the right of the big clock, we're going to put it in. <laughs> stick it in and we're into a new place. Right, on the PlayStation, if we have a look to the left, you can see this picture of Big Albie Einstein. Uh, that will get you a trophy for changing the picture. Doesn't matter on the Xbox, though. So to, um, go straight ahead of you into this door, and what we're going to do is interact with the blue button eight times and the red button uh, three times. So it says 340. So as long as it says 340, that's what it is. Press the white button, and congratulations. Thank you, Ams Arms, for playing. They really should have... They're going to they're gonna bring out a third game, so they really should do that. Makes it funnier. But anyway, that is eight of the ten achievements. The other two, like I said, are for uh, completing it with one person and completing it with three people. So again, leave your uh, gamer tags in the comment section below. He let's, let's help each other out, guys. It's, it's that time. It's that time of life. 
Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Kings and queens among everyone. So <laughs> thank you so much again. And I will see you for um, Escape from Wanderers 2. See you then. Big love.